I'm Trisha Keen. Right now on your 13 Action News update, four-year-old Mason Dominguez's death has officially been ruled a homicide. The coroner revealing the toddler died from blunt force trauma. His body was found inside a freezer back in February. Police say he was murdered and beaten to death by his mother's boyfriend. Today's news coming nearly five months after his death. The mother's boyfriend, Brandon Toslin, is charged with open murder. Well, coronavirus numbers and cases continue to drop here in Clark County, but now the Omicron BA.5 variant is picking up and accounting for nearly three quarters of Clark County's cases. The new daily confirmed cases on the 14 day moving average is now at 538. That's down from 626 last week. Omicron accounting for nearly 72% of cases. Hospitalizations are now sitting at 349. That's down 16 since last week. The Beatles' love will stay at the Mirage on the Las Vegas Strip through 2023. The show combines a blend of the Beatles' music catalog with high-energy choreography. The show currently performs Tuesday through Saturday, twice nightly. Tickets for performances in 2023 will go on sale in the coming months. Kevin. For sure, things remaining very active on the Doppler radar. Thunderstorms coming down from the northeast, more wet air coming in from the east. As a result, the humidity continues and you heat that up. You get afternoon and evening thunderstorms, and that's what's in the forecast. Overnight, Wednesday night into Thursday morning, a few more thunderstorms gusty near any storms, but winds will lighten up as the storms slide away. And then once again for Thursday afternoon, a couple of thunderstorms are expected to pop up. Higher elevations have the best chance and that humid air mass entrenched. There will be a better chance for thunderstorm slight uptick when we get to Sunday and Monday before a decrease by the middle of next week, Tricia. That was your 13 Action News update. You can always get the latest news at KTNV.com.